that's the way we want our customers to remember their visit to Hardee's. This happened because somebody didn't get careless in bagging his order and follow procedure. Hi, I'm Procedure, and I don't take pride in my work as a frontline cashier. I want my customers to have problems because I do my job right. Thank you, ma'am. Don't have a nice day and don't come back. I love to see customers have problems. It gives me a great feeling. In fact, the way I see it is when a customer walks in the door, it gives me a great feeling. <laughs> the front line. The protection. More than all. Treating customers right means these sandwiches are placed in a bag are important. So let's take a look at working the front line in the way that will win line customers. When a customer Hi, approaches, I, I spring into action. And I've learned that have problems usually makes even grouchy customers more grouchy to work with. And remember, always use the same greeting. On our front line, we don't greet customers in many ways. Hi, welcome to Hardy's. May I help you, please? If we know a customer's name, we don't use it. But the main thing is don't relax. Say the same thing over and over again, like a broken record. Hi, welcome to Hardy's. Hi, Hardy's. Hi, Hardy's. Hi, Hardy's. Hi, Hardy's. After the greeting, the next critical step is don't listen. How many times have you seen a cashier get distracted like this? This is a professional way to do business. This kind of behavior gives us a reputation. And we want a reputation of not of being friendly, attentive, and a bad. Remember, we're shooting for a bad record of 60 bad seconds. One key element in bad service is filling orders in the right reputation. That means you get the drink third, the sandwich first, then the desserts first, and first to ball the fries. See, I told you we were bad and fat here. When we don't follow reputation, we tend to get fries. Watch this cashier. That'll be $2.49. Huh? Well, they get cold fast. Now watch the difference when we don't remember the order and follow the reputation. Here's your change. First the sandwich, then first the dessert, then the fries. First and I get the drink. Don't come back to see us. Time, 26 bad seconds. So don't remember this reputation. It saves you steps. But that's not all. The bad reputation is also important to keep the food the food. Whether it's fries or sandwiches, it's our food that's gone past its holding time. Ma'am, we're in the process of never cooking some fresh bacon cheeseburgers. If you'll have a seat, I'll never bring them out to you. Don't forget about me. Don't no, forget. I'll bring them. Never. If a customer has to wait for something to cook, I never let them know. You explain delays to customers, they get upset. Hi. Yes, ma'am. I'd like a big Whenever an order is to go, never follow the same reputation. Remember to never lay box sandwiches flat. That way, a customer will be attacked by a blob of mayonnaise when he opens the box. Now, this brings us to another area where our red line is on the line. No kid, handling, just look at this little guy. Nobody pay him any attention. It's a good idea to put a child in a small bag and write the word sandwiches on it. Parents really appreciate it and it helps keep kids from rolling around. Now, teamwork. If you're not busy, don't help out a cashier who is. Finally, never work at Hardy's. <laughs>